And again, taking your seat as if your very life depended on it. So we're not kidding around, you know. And yet, of course, we're kidding around. Uh, it, should, it has to be play. You're too serious. Not, it's, it's not real practice. It's actually tuning your instrument of attending, of learning, of apprehending, of sensing, of being. And then, as I said, quoting from the Heart Sutra, there's no place to go, nothing to do, nothing to attain. That's important to know from the very beginning, not from like after you've been practicing for 30 years and then you discover that there's no place to go. No, because you could spend 30 years trying to get to some special effect. And then not recognize that you are the special effect. And you were special on day one. Your mind wandering wasn't the problem, it was special. It was you that misapprehended it as like, oh, I'm a bad meditator. And a lot of those things that, uh, how many of you heard Dan Harris's talk? Dan Harris is talking about a relatively small kind of um, group of concerns about a particular perspective on meditation. And it's beautiful. But you know, the sort of first question is, am I doing it right? So, or one question is at least, am I doing it right? I don't remember if it's the first question. But the answer is, as long as you're doing it, you're doing it right. Okay? If you're willing to be with whatever arises, you're doing it right. If you're lost in thought all the time and you're aware some of the time that you're lost in thought, you're doing it right. Keep practicing. So be as generous as possible because in the first 20 or 30 years of meditation practice, you kind of say to yourself, at least in my experience, that uh, I'm, doing the, I'm meditating now. I'm doing the meditation. Anybody else ever say that to yourself, that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit now, I'm going to do the meditation? Raise your hands up high so I can feel that, everybody. So, but after a while, it's like not quite true. It's more like the meditation is doing me. When I give myself over to the domain of being, the world is actually collaborating in revealing the actuality of things instead of the stories that imprison us. So let's take a few moments to simply drop right in. No place to go, nothing to do, nothing, no special something we're trying to good feeling we're trying to attain, but to just be aware of how it is in the body right now. How is it in the heart right now? How is it in the mind right now? <coughs> and whether you want to focus on an object, those of you who are in the first like five or ten years of this practice may be focusing on an object, like the breath sensations in the belly, and just stay with it. The mind wanders, bring it back. Mind wanders, bring it back. My wonders. When you recognize it, notice what's on your mind, then in the noticing, bring it back. And you'll have to do that about a hundred billion times, <laughs> each time for the first time and without uh, beating yourself up over it because that's the ebb and flow of the tides, it's the rising and falling of the waves, it's just the nature of mind. But we're embracing the nature of our own minds and dropping down in some sense, beneath the surface of appearances, thoughts, narratives, emotion, into being. And that's really been here all along anyway. Which is why we can't get better at being aware. We just need to become more intimate with our capacity for being aware. The awareness you can't improve on. It's good enough. And it always has been. And besides, it's not wounded either. It's not wounded. It's not carrying the wounds. They may be carried in the body, they may be carried in the heart, but this is big enough to hold the wounds. Does that take a lot of courage? Yeah. 
in the same way as it takes a lot of courage for someone to come up on the stage in front of 700 people and go through a process like we saw this morning. And is there benefit from taking that kind of a stance? It's obvious. So once again, befriending wakefulness. If you're choosing an object to attend to, fabulous. Or you can choose what might be called objectless attending. Just choiceless awareness, we call it, where we're just aware in the space of awareness. And uh, whatever arises, thought, sensation, feeling, memory, anticipation, reaction, sound, it's all like the curriculum. It's just the curriculum, the unfolding and our assignment, if you choose to accept it, is to simply attend to the play of it all. And not get caught with your personal pronouns overexposed. Just this. Just this. So let me ask you a few questions in this moment of being. Is there an experience of wholeness? In this timeless moment of sitting here, is there an experience of being at home in your own skin? In this timeless moment of sitting here, is there an experience of wakefulness? And in this moment, is there an experience of completion? Can you simply rest in awareness itself? Take up residency here, so to speak. In the knowing and the non, not knowing that your awareness always is and always has been. And in the boundless spaciousness of it. So here's the opportunity for you to see whether you can locate a center in the field of awareness, or whether you can locate the boundary or periphery or circumference of your own awareness. And just allowing everything to unfold as it unfolds. Whether the breath is serving as your primary anchor or your breath in the body as the primary object of attending or whether you're resting in the wide, boundless spaciousness of awareness itself. Outside of time. Underneath thinking. Just this. Just this.
So how is it in the body right in this moment? Even with the carriage of the body, has the body collapsed or is it as uh, erect and dignified and alert uh, and attentive as in the first breath? Because there is only this breath and only this moment. How is it in the heart right in this moment? Just checking in, not through thought, but through pure awareness. How is it in the body? How is it in the heart? How is it in the mind? So again, uh, the bells don't really signal the end of anything. They signal a transition. <clears throat> 